online dating started out as a man's game, but one woman stepped out on her own and changed all the rules. Mission Driven sits down with Trailblazer, Whitney Wolf Hurd, founder and CEO of Bumble. The dating app where women make the first move has grown into a full-fledged community, and we'll hear all about the ways Bumble is realigning gender misconceptions for the modern world. Whitney, Bumble has revolutionized dating for women all around the world. How did you come up with this idea? The inspiration of Bumble was to give women not only the power, but the control over the connections they make in an effort to make relationships healthier and more equitable for everyone. So on Bumble, women always make the first move and they always send that first message. And this just really recalibrates the way we connect with each other. Let's talk about Bumble's core objectives. What are some of the ways that Bumble gives back and finds ways to empower women? We have started a really incredible initiative called Moves Making Impact. And we did this with the help of Vital Voices, an incredible nonprofit organization, which is dedicated to creating spaces for women to be heard. Um, and this initiative really utilizes empowered first moves on behalf of Bumble to uplift women facilitating change globally. With each first move made on Bumble, we make a donation to one of three women who are doing incredible work in public policy, economic development, and human rights. Whitney, I know diversity and inclusion is so important in the workforce at Bumble, and you launched the Center for Excellence. How does that actually ensure the diversity within your beehive? Ultimately, the COE's focus isn't to ensure diversity within the company. That's the job of every person in our business, including me. So rather, they're constantly plugged in. They're always surfacing our gaps and amplifying diverse perspectives and ensuring that our global team is equipped with the tools that we need and partnerships that empower underserved groups with the goal of keeping DEI a key component of Bumble Inc's DNA. And we recognize that we have a long way to go. Um, this is really chapter one in our efforts and uh, we are all deeply committed and that has to start at the top. At NASDAQ, there's no more noble cause than helping entrepreneurs gain access to capital. What inspired the launch of the Bumble Fund and who are some of the entrepreneurs that you invest in? We believe that economic opportunity is a key marker for the future of women's empowerment and global equality. And the Bumble Fund was driven by the imbalance in funding for women-founded led companies. So for us, that was a problem we wanted to help take part in solving. And we've been able to do so with some incredible partners, including the Female Founders Fund and Serena Williams. And to date, we've had the privilege to invest in some incredible businesses like Mommy Health and Alice and Promise. Those are just a, a few um, of many that we've had the opportunity to partake in. Talk to us about the evolution of the app, how it's grown to support not just a person's romantic interests, but their friendships and business. Where do you see the app going from here? We really started where we felt the need was most pertinent, and that was in dating. But the vision has always been so much bigger. We always knew that our customer would drive us into our next opportunity. And with that, um, our evolution into friend finding and business connections really started to unfold. What's so interesting is that the opportunity ahead for platonic relationships might even be bigger than dating one day. And so we're really, really excited about all that lies ahead. Whitney, early on, Bumble made a critical decision not to tolerate any form of inappropriate, abusive, or negative behavior on the app. What prompted you to take a, such a strong stance? I had been harassed on the internet by complete strangers and it had a devastating toll on my mental health. And I knew that if I was feeling that, there were millions of women around the world going through the same issue and I wanted to help be a part of the change. So when we launched Bumble, this was going to be foundational. It's about doing what we can to protect our users and our stance on these issues has been and will continue to be a critical piece of that effort. How is Bumble tackling the issue of online harassment, both within the app and beyond? You know, women were experiencing unwanted lewd images being sent to them. Even as we started to build product features to help prevent this, it wasn't making enough of an impact. So we started in Texas by passing a bill that made it illegal to send unsolicited lewd images. And that became a law. And we're now pushing similar legislation in California, New York, and in the UK. And this is really just the beginning for us. We have 
an entire team dedicated to policy work and bringing that work to life in our products and also across the internet more broadly. What's next for Bumble as you guys continue to grow? This was a marathon. We like to think of this as just bending down to tie our shoes. Um, and you know, we may have provided a spark, but we now have an even greater responsibility and opportunity to keep investing in our mission and broaden the reach of this movement to more women all around the world and to serve our communities and lead with our mission and our values as we grow into new markets and into new categories.